So just working on the H12 here. Um, so to hook up uh, an individual cylinder, um, in this case, I call this cylinder 1L and 1R, then BR1 and BL1. So I'm using a 1L as my base cylinder here. So uh, it was at the top. And I have a timing tape here. It goes around 360 degrees, actually this direction. See, I got it marked at 60 there. 360 is when the... Oh, I'll spin it back. It's not easy. Turn nine cylinders. Anyway, it's at the top when it's zero, trust me. And then my mark is right here in the middle of the magneto. So it's at 60. So, here's our line up here. 1L. And then 1R, BR1, BL2, or BL1, sir. So, 1L is on power when its piston's at the top, 0 degrees, then 60, 90, 360, all the way down 720 degrees. So, I'm trying to time bottom row 1 here. Here's bottom row 1. And it fires when 1L is at 60 degrees. That's why I'm 60 degrees past top dead center on 1L. So now I can hook the chain up to BL1. Now, actually, I don't quite have the chain ready for it. It's a bit loose. So I want to time BL3. So BR3. That's that guy down there. So we go down here to bottom row 3. He fires way down here at 540 degrees on 1L. So I'll have to turn it over here, shut the camera down, turn it over to that position, and then I can hook the chain up. So anyway, that's my timing diagram there of it. The H12. Okay, so I've got... 1L here, it's 180 degrees, so the piston's at the bottom, but it's it's on the end of intake stroke. So if you see the intake valve is just getting ready to close there, so I know I've got it phased right. So now I go down here to bottom row three, this cylinder, and he's at the top on compression. Uh, the key is at the top on this crankshaft. Uh, some of them are actually opposite, but I put a mark on to indicate when it's at the top, and you can tell because it's got equal drag on both sides. So then I just wrap my chain around the sprocket up there and wrap it around here uh, tight, as tight as I can get it, and uh, that cylinder will be timed to fire at the right uh, point in the firing order. So that's how I, that's how I accomplish the timing of this uh, motor here.